Let's see if this wakes her up. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. And in today's video, I'm super duper excited because I bought a bunch of puppy stuff for my new puppy. If you do not follow me on Instagram, go follow me now and you can check out all kinds of pictures of her from when she was born all the way up until now. So I do want to show you all the stuff that I bought for her this week. So I bought her a ton of stuff. She's going to be really excited here in a few minutes. Right now she's really tired and she's kind of taking a nap. As you can see, she's really, really sleepy. She's been playing all day. I have two other dogs, so she's been playing all all day long but she has not seen any of these toys or anything in this box well besides two bags of treats because i did already go ahead and open the treats because well we were at the pet store and she just couldn't wait and i actually wanted to try these out just to see if she liked them so i did get two things of treats this one's the natural balance and it says lit which is limited ingredient treats so these are supposed to be pretty healthy for your pet and right here it says small breed but i did get it because it said great for puppies now it's like the little bites that's why it says small breed it's nothing to do with the ingredients so it's just like smaller pieces they had the ones for big dogs but they were larger size bones so this one's the brown rice and lamb here's the ingredients just in case you want to check these out for your dog so they have no artificial flavors or colors and like i said it's a limited ingredient treat and i actually got the lamb because our other dog i knew we would kind of give these treats to our other dogs as well and he has a sensitive stomach so we went ahead and bought the treats for puppy and also for the other dogs so this one is limited ingredient and like i said it's lamb my other dog is really weird when you give him chicken he actually has a lot of stomach issues and chicken really messes him up so the other bag of treats i got the zooks and this one's for puppies and it is the salmon one i think yes salmon and chickpea flavor so here's that and then here's the back i will show you the ingredients there are the ingredients if you have not seen this one and this is supposed to be a really high quality puppy treat and she really loves her treats so i thought it'd be a good idea to buy two bags just to you know give her a little bit of option and i also bought her some really cute treats which she has not seen yet so we'll go ahead and put these to the side. I am really excited to show you guys these. So I got these from the Little Doggy Bakery section at our local pet store. It's Feeder Supply. I'm not really sure if they have that chain all over the world, but if you have a Feeder Supply like close to your area, let me know in the comments below. We have a Feeder Supply. That's where I got these puppy treats or these dog treats. And they have like a little bakery section and I was really excited about these. So I have like this little cookie jar that has like bones and paw prints on it. Now I already had this. I was putting my dog treats in it for my other dogs, but I thought these bakery items were really cute. So this is just like a little white chocolate. Now I know it's not chocolate. I'm not really sure what they're made out of, but they smell so sweet and they smell so good. And like I said, it's for dogs. Now here's this one right here. I thought this one was interesting. It looks like a cupcake. It's really cute, but it is a dog treat. And I got these little pink bones. I thought these little pink bones were really cute. They're very, very bright pink. And they smell really sweet as well. I got another cupcake. It has like sprinkles on the top. I thought this one was really colorful and fun. And another paw print. And then this one was really, really interesting. It's almost like a Reese cup. It has like the Reese cup, you know, packaging on it. Now it's supposed to be like chocolate peanut butter flavor, but like I said, it's for dogs. But when I smell it, it smells really sweet like candy. So I'm not really sure how they make these. I would love to find out because these are quite expensive and I actually would like to make these at home. So if I did look at the ingredients and you all would like to see how to make these, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me make these on my channel. I think it would be really fun. And of course, I'm sure it would save me a ton of money. But I wanna go ahead and see if she can smell these. I'm gonna kind of put them up to her while she's sleeping. Let's go ahead and tilt the camera and see if she even notices. Like I said, she's really asleep. She's not even budging and it smells so, so sweet. Ray, look, you want a treat? Hey, you want a cookie? Looky here. Look how sleepy she looks. She has the droopiest eyes. You want a treat, Ray? Let's see if she eats it. And she has not tried one of these yet. So it's brand, brand new. I have not tried these yet. I just bought them. And I'm not really sure if she's a fan or if she's just really sleepy. 
No, she's eating it. Looks like she's enjoying it. It looks really soft because it just broke like right apart when she chewed into it. Was it good, pretty girl? So her name is Ray, like on Star Wars. So we have Kylo and Ray. So let's go ahead and move on to something else. Now I thought this was really cute. So I did purchase this on Amazon and I will put the link down below if you'd like to purchase one of these as well. But I think this is really cute. It's a dog collar and a leash combo. It came in this cute box, like I said, on Amazon. So I was really surprised to get this box. It says handmade with love, but I'm not really sure if the person that I bought this from really made this, but the box does say handmade with love. Now I thought this bow was really cute. So it actually goes on the collar. It's super duper adorable. So I already tried this on her and it fits really good. I did get a size medium so that she could grow into it, but I did put it on the tightest setting. It is just a little bit loose, but it will go really big. So let me show you guys. Like I said, it, it can almost probably fit a large dog as well, but when you tighten it all the way, it gets pretty small. So I'm glad that I picked the medium and I really love the colors and I really like, you know, like the handles and the clasps. They are rose gold. I think it's a really pretty color. And then it's blue and white polka dots right here in the background and they've got pink flowers with the little green leaves. Like I said, it's a matching set and I don't think it was very much. I think it was around $20 for the collar, the leash and the bow. And the bow just slips right on there. I will post a picture of her right now. I was gonna put it on her. Maybe I'll put it on her just in a little bit when she wakes up, but I do have a picture of her wearing this collar and I think it's really cute. And then I got this blanket on Amazon. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna keep it or not. When I opened it, I was a little bit disappointed because I think it's a little bit thin and I think it's a little bit small for the price that I paid. I think I paid around $15 for this blanket. I will put the link down below if you wanna check it out. But this is the blanket. Like I said, I think it's a little bit small, but I mean, it would fit her right now for a little bit. But I think it's really cute. It does have pink bones, white paw prints, white bones, and it's a pink blanket with dark pink trim. It is soft, but it's just really thin. And it's really small, like I said. I just thought it was gonna be a lot bigger. I probably didn't read the measurements correctly. I'm gonna stick that in the bag. I'm gonna go ahead and give her one of these Zooks treats because she is wanting something else, but I'm not gonna give her all that bakery stuff today. Here, you want a treat? We gotta save all your bakery stuff. Here, here's some. Oh, and I'm also feeding her Yukonuba large breed puppy food. I will show you a picture of it. Now, this was the puppy food she was actually on when I got her from the breeder. So we might switch to puppy food eventually. I have heard that Yukonuba is probably not the best brand for a puppy, but she was on that when I got her and I did not want to switch her yet because everything is working out perfectly. Like she doesn't have a sensitive stomach to the food or anything. So I kind of want to leave her on that until I can find something better. If you do know of a food that you could recommend me, make sure you let me know in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. Now let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. I did buy her some shampoo. I got this on Amazon. I just thought it was really cute. I really love the shape of the bottle. It says Wags and Wiggles is the brand and this is the freshening deodorizing shampoo and it's in Very Berry. Now they did have an oatmeal one and they also had a puppy one, but the puppy one was out of stock and I really wanted this now. So I went ahead and got this one and I'm going to order the puppy one as well, but it was on back order. So the puppy one comes in, I think a blue bottle and the oatmeal one comes in a yellow one, but they have a couple of different scents as well. I just thought it was really cute. If you do want to see the ingredients, just in case you want to check it out, there is the ingredients. And I will also post this link down in the comments below. Like I said, I got this from Amazon. And this is the same brand, and this is just wet wipes for dogs. I figured I could get this just so I could actually wipe her eyes, like maybe if she had something in her eye or if she made a mess of herself. So this is the Wags and Wiggles brand. It's hypoallergenic wipes. This one's in Zesty Grapefruit. So like I said, it's the same brand. I really think the packaging's really cute, and I really loved the color of these. So I just wanted to try them out. Like I said, it says hypoallergenic, and I will show you the ingredients. So there are the ingredients. And I will show you the white because some people are curious, you know, how thin they are. So here are what they look like. They are a little bit thin, but they smell really good. And she's a puppy, so they work pretty well for us right now. 
but I just really love the packaging on the shampoo and on this and if I do end up liking these products I probably will buy some more stuff from them because they have a whole line of stuff all kinds of products let's go ahead and move on to the next one now I thought these were fun. I was shopping at Dollar Tree and I found these for a dollar each at Dollar Tree and I thought it was a super fun buy. So this is like a chewy bone. It looks like a Nyla bone to me. I just thought it was worth a dollar. Now I will watch her with this just in case, you know, maybe these little things will break off. I will be very careful and I will watch her with this bone. Now this one right here is a rope and I'm not very fond of ropes and I will tell you why. So my other dog Tank, when he was a puppy about this size, we got him a rope and he was getting really sick and we did not know what was wrong with him. So we took him to the vet and he had to have emergency surgery and they actually found a piece like a knot, like a whole knot piece of a rope in his stomach. So I was really surprised and I promised myself that I would never buy a rope ever again. So when I did find this at Dollar Tree, I kind of looked at it and I really don't think it's the same kind of rope. It kind of looks like it's fabric. So it will not ravel out like the, you know, like the regular ropes. It's kind of just like a lot of fabric tied in knots. So I think this is completely different and I almost think that this is a safe kind of rope. But like I said, I got it at Dollar Tree. I will be watching her with this just to make sure we have no accidents. So that is the toys from Dollar Tree. I just thought they were really cute for a dollar. Now I got these two things. I got these two things at Menards. Now the Menards just opened down the street so I was really excited to go in there. I thought this was really cute and it says it's made by Spunky Pup and it's a squeaky gym. It says it floats, it says it bounces, it squeaks, it says it's got a loud squeak so if you want to see right there it shows everything that it does. Here's the back of the package. I just think the color is really pretty. And like I said, the squeak is really loud. I will squeak that. And she is asleep again. Let's see if this wakes her up. You want a toy, Ray? I got you a new toy. You want a new toy? It's really cute and I really love how loud it is. And she really needed something that she can chew. So that toy I think is really great for her. And I got the four tennis ball pack. And this was actually a really good price. I think it was like $3.99 for four of these tennis balls. Now, I've never seen pink tennis balls, so I knew that I had to get them. I think they're really cute. And it does come with four. And I have three dogs, so I figured that they could share these. So they're just regular size tennis balls in pink. And they say Hyper Pet on them. So they are made for dogs. It says tennis balls safe for dogs' teeth. So I guess other tennis balls could be dangerous for dogs but these are actually made for dogs. So here is the back. Like I said, I got these at Menards. Now I've got a couple more things in my box. I thought these were really cute. Now guys, you are gonna absolutely love these. Now I didn't wanna show you these first because these are my favorite thing that I have bought out of all of this stuff. I got these on Amazon and I will put the link down in the description box below if you do wanna check these out, but they look like purses and they're designer name brand purses. So this one's supposed to be a Michael Kors purse. Now they do have other brands, all different kinds of brands. So you could probably find your favorite kind of brand and purse for your dog. So I did get a Michael Kors one as you can see it does have the logo right there I think it's really cute but it's called Michael Claus and guys this really does look like a Michael Kors purse here is the brand like I said I did get this on Amazon and it does have a squeaky inside of it so it does squeak I'm definitely gonna have to keep these up from my other dogs because they will shred these in like two seconds you want to see it you can have it. And then this other one right here is my absolute favorite. So this is a Louis Vuitton purse, but it's Chewy Vuitton. So this is actually my favorite brand. I have quite a few Louis Vuitton purses. So here is the Chewy Vuitton version for the dog. It does have the handle. It's brown like a regular monogram Louis Vuitton. It says Chewy Vuitton and has a cute design on it. Of course, it's not the real Louis Vuitton logo or they would get in a lot of trouble. So they had to change the little design and they called it Chewy Vuitton. And like I said, they have a whole bunch of different designs and a whole bunch of different brands on there. Guys, I had a whole cart on Amazon full of these. And then I was like, what am I doing? I had like $100 worth of these little purses. I just think they're so cute. But then I'm like, what if she shreds them and that's like $100 down the drain? But they are super, super cute. 
This one squeaks as well. This one actually has a larger squeaker in it. I will show you. Hold on, I'll give it back. So this one's actually a little bit smaller than the Chewy Vuitton. Now, both of these said they were a size large, but as you can see, they are two different sizes. So I bought large in both. When I got this one, I was somewhat just a little bit disappointed because it's a lot smaller than this one. Here, you can have it back. But yeah, the squeaker in this one's actually a lot larger. I just think it's really super cute and I really hope that she doesn't shred them like really fast because I would really love to keep these. I just think they're really adorable. This one has a squeaker in it too, right? So as you can see, she is super excited. She is finally woke up now. I would definitely have to try that collar on her because I don't think she's going back to sleep anytime soon. Now I do have a few more things. I did buy her a dog bow. Got this on Amazon and it was really cheap. So it was a lot cheaper than the ones at the pet store. I think this was four or five dollars. I can put the link down in the description box below, but I did get it on Amazon. Now I have one more thing to show you all and it's her little pet tag. Now I would show you the back, but it actually has my phone number on it. I do not want to display my phone number, but right here it says Ray. I did get this at Petco. I will open it up and show you guys. So I did use the machine to engrave this. And it says Ray. I just thought it was really cute. I'm going to go ahead and put this on her collar because I would hate for her to get out and not have this on. And if you have a puppy, you definitely need one of these too. But I'm going to go ahead and put this collar on her because I think the collar is super adorable. Here's her collar. I think it's really cute on her. Hi, Ray. You know that I'm filming you, huh? There it is. I just think the buckle is really cute. The whole thing is really cute. Has the matching leash. I do want to show you her cage. So here is the cage that we picked for her for now. She will outgrow this cage. But right now, she has a pink puppy cage. Do you like everything that I got her today? Do you like her cage? And do you just love this little puppy face? And guys, we hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.